Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. Welcome to new viewers. Yes. Thanks for coming and checking us out here. We are Talking with Docs, where we're just a couple of docs that talk. Sometimes we have guests. Yes, today no guests, just us, the founding members. Mm -hmm. There you go. What we're, are we talking about? Today we're going to talk about a viewer question comment. Do I have to wear my aircast at night? Should I wear my sunglasses at night? <laughs> Corey Hart said yes. Canadian icon. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, so you have a, a severe ankle sprain, maybe a broken ankle, maybe a broken foot. You've been given one of these boots that is removable. The question is, are you allowed to remove it at night in order to get a decent night's sleep because you're losing it? Okay, yeah. It's tough to wear that boot at night. Yeah, what's your answer? It depends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's always our answer. <laughs> yeah. We're like, we're like politicians. There's no well. good evidence to suggest. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're probably sick of hearing that. But in the first couple of weeks after injury, I generally say, yeah, try and wear it all the time. Okay. Agreed. Cause that's when your, uh, injury is most unstable, yep. uh, or, um, at risk of having a problem if it moves too much. So in the first couple of weeks, I'm usually saying, yeah, wear it at night. I say the same thing. Cause also that's when it hurts the most. And if you fall asleep, then your toe catches on the mm. sheet and it twists your ankle, mm. you're going to have a lot of pain and potentially aggravate the injury that you already have. So totally agree. At least a couple of weeks. So what if it's a really bad fracture that for whatever reason you were able to treat non-operatively. Yeah, that one you're gonna be wearing, you know, probably a night for, for four to six weeks yeah. for the duration of the treatment. Yeah. Because I often tell people in that setting is this is a cast. Think of this like a cast. That's right. It's just removable for hygiene or if there's an issue, but it's a cast. Treat it like a cast. Don't take it off. I usually ask them, I say, Can I can I trust you or do you trust yourself? Like because mm -hmm. it can come off doesn't mean that it should come off. I usually will let them take it off five minutes a day to wash. I say 23 hours, 55 minutes a day, that thing is on, just like you said, like a cast. it's not because we have trust issues, <laughs> it's just that we want the best outcome for our patient. And then sometimes the patient will look at me and say, no, I can't be trusted. I need a full cast that I can't take off. Or like the mom or the dad is like, no way, put them in a cast because this kid's for sure gonna be taking it we off. You can't trust this kid. Which one, the kid hanging from the desk right now? That's no, right, yeah, that one. who broke his ankle, mm. jumping off the roof. Mm. Um, is there anything that they can do if they do have to wear it at night to make it a little more tolerable? Yeah, ask your partner to sleep in another bed. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be difficult uh, for a partner with a big boot flying around beside you, for sure. Sometimes I tell people to wrap it in a, a pillowcase, just so there's less things that can get caught. Mm -hmm. Or somehow, maybe if it's warmer out and you're not cold at night, you can keep the one leg out of the sheets, mm -hmm. kind of out off to the side. Yeah, interested in any of your suggestions. Yeah, with, some, uh, some hacks. I haven't had a, to wear a boot at night personally, so uh, those of you that have are probably more of an expert than us on what you do at night. Like, what do you do? do we you do? send you home, we say wear your boot at night. How do you deal with that? Let us know. Have you ever broken anything? Uh, no, not knowingly. Like, not, not that I know of. I yeah. mean, I've had some injuries, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, that's my friend that don't x-ray. No, yeah. me either. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so let us know. But in general, um, follow the advice of your surgeon. And if they say you need to wear it at night, you probably do need to wear it at night. And it's for your own good. It's not because they're insensitive to the plight they're going to cause you in your bed. Yeah, because then when you say you haven't and you'll see him writing something, he or she's that's writing something in the chart, what the writing is non-compliant. <laughs> like that episode of Seinfeld. Yeah. Really, like, one sec, Miss yeah. Bennis. Yeah. Might see my notes. Yeah. yeah, Dr. Van Nostrand from the clinic. <laughs> Okay, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own cast boot or removable splint or cast. Follow the instructions and you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.